and welcome to How Monday.com Uses Storybook for UI Development. I'm Or, I'm an engineering manager at Monday.com. I lead our design system, aka Vibe. Before I show you how we use Storybook, I want to give you some context about Monday.com R and D organization. We are about 300 people, including developers, designers, and product managers. We believe in being loosely coupled and highly aligned, which means that we all have the same goal, but different teams have different methods achieving these goals. We expect our team to have full ownership on their domain, and we support rapid growth environment, which means that everything is up for change. And I mean everything. We are around 200 developers, and most of us are full stack developers, which means that we do everything from the back end to the front end. And we don't have QA. We expect full ownership from, all the, from our developers to do the QA by themselves and own their content. We have 50 designers. That means that every team, almost every team, has their own designer, both motion and product designer. We are huge believers in atomic design. We try to structure our UI ecosystem in the same manner. From our core libraries, Vibe and Vibe Atmosphere, to our other layers of our micro frontend. So let's start with the core, our core libraries, Vibe and Vibe Atmosphere. So what is Vibe? Vibe is our design system. It's where we develop our core component, such as our inputs and buttons, tabs, etc. This library is being used by all of our developers and external developers, such as Apps Builder or any other developer who wants to use our library. We are open source. You can see it in action in style.monday.com. And of course, you can check our GitHub. Atmosphere is our complex components library, such as our boards, our pricing pages, our, our person pickers, and everything within the system. This library is being developed by our entire R&D organization and then changing on a daily basis. We use Storybook as our main developer, development UI platform, but it is much, much, much more than that. It's our source of truth for both designers and developers. We've invested tons of time in it, building it with content which is relevant for both designers, such as do's and do not do's to our UI's infrastructure, UI core principles, and for developers, such as our props and code snippets on how to use each component. We use story shots to make sure that nothing changes other than what we really, really want to change. And of course, we're using interaction testing to test complex flows on re real browsers. We interact with Chromatic to our CI CD pipeline. We use it to run all of our tests in a real browser on every branch, on every change. We work with comments to bring designers right into our dev lifecycle, getting feedback and design review from a very early stage, thus preventing bugs and getting the best product that we can deliver. And of course, we also use visual testing in Chromatic to monitor our CI CD and making sure that nothing really changes. Having all of these abilities that I just mentioned allows us to, to deliver quality core libraries with over 80 contributors from within and outside of Monday. So using Storybook and Chromatic in our core libraries is pretty straightforward. We use a lot of their ability to keep us safe and move quickly. But I really want to show you how we use Storybook and Chromatic in our monolith. To, to keep regression from happening. So what is our mon monolith? So we've been around for about 10 to 12 years now, and we have a huge, huge monolith with technologies varied from Backbone and CoffeeScript to new modern React with TypeScript. The dev experience there can be really hard. And sometimes it takes tons of time to get, get yourself acquainted with what's in the monolith itself. So this is where Storybook comes to our aid. We use Storybook for three main things in the model. First, visual testing with, with TurboSnap. The second is creating complex states of our, of our stories with mock, with mock service workers. And the cherry on top is performance regression tool that we, we've created. We are running visual testing on Chromatic. We have around 400 open PRs at any given moment. Adding to that, what we call compound effect, which means that we use a lot of our building blocks all around the system. And each PR may change some of these building blocks. So monitor all of the, all of the core flows that use these blocks is pretty hard. Visual testing helps us identify breaking changes in our CI CD. Running complex component permutation with the overhead of feature flags and, and 
A-B tests make us feel safer when we deliver quality product. And on top of that, we use TurboSnap to identify the change files and run only the relevant stories and visual testing, cutting down the costs and make our CI CD much, much, much more quicker. We have our stories for our most complex pages, like our boards or dashboards. We leverage a mock service worker plugin within Storybook in order to simulate real world use case, basically running our entire monolith within Storybook. This unique ability with our unique state builder can provide amazing developer experience writing complex stories. And the best part is that, that our developer don't need to mock anything just to render to component. The cherry on top is that we use Storybook in order to monitor performance regressions, like frame per seconds. Testing performance requires a predictive and consistent environment, which Storybook is perfect for. I would love to show you how this custom plugin works. When the story initializes, we read the specific performance matrices that we want to measure. When the story runs, we measure them. When the story finishes, we collect everything, every data that, we, that we've measured, we analyze it, and send it to our internal tools. During the CI-CD, <coughs> we compare the, the results into mas to master. And if the results vary by a specific amount, we fail the CI, which means that we've just prevented a performance hit on our product. So Monolith is our past, and we would like to tell you how we scale our frontend with micro frontend and storybook. Each micro frontend has its own storybook. We love microfrontend. It really goes with our full ownership approach, where every team can have one microfrontend or more. They can deliver their, their product on their own pace, and they can select whatever technologies they feel relevant to, pro to provide our user with the best experience. We've created our own internal solution for microfrontend called Trident. One of its pillars is zero config, which means that we have unified build for every microfrontend, a unified lint, testing configuration, and of course, unified storybook. We have more than 40 micro frontends writing their own personal storybook. And of course, we will maintain the same developer experience across all of our UI ecosystem. So what is Trident Storybook? When we create our micro frontend, we install all of our Trident packages, which contain custom preview JS and other, another shared storybook configuration. With Storybook's custom customizable nature, we allow different repos on different repos to run the same configuration, which is stored in, the, in our node modules, and basically provide a scalable storybook approach. Every storybook for every micro frontend looks the same, behave the same, and we can push updates such as cool toolbars, cool accessibility tools, and of course, our own custom toolbars that we provide. All of this provide great user experience for micro frontend to the core, to the core libraries that we are using. To sum it all up, we are using Storybook in every UI layer in all of our organization, and Chromatic keeps us safe and helps us to ship quality and performant UI. Thank you, Storybook and Chromatic.